On Friday, we went to meet with our designers to discuss the brand face to face and meet up with a few potential partners. And this is what we got up to. On my way up to London for some meetings. To meetings. I never have cash. Can I take my day Yeah, please, thank you. Sorry, that's my nice camera. So what's that for just? This is for a littering, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay, littering. So is that fine then? It's a fixed pattern mm -hmm. now to set by the council, so yes. Goodness. I feel like I'm off famous, though. Sorry? Well, will I be on YouTube? Yeah, you'll, you'll be on YouTube, um, you'll be on Facebook, and also, oh, um, if this goes really well, maybe Pornhub. We're in Leicester Square, almost. So we're just walking through the beautiful Leicester Square. Yeah. There's really nothing better than walking through the streets of London. It's trying to rain! So we're here at Home House West London W1, just about to go in and meet Victoria, an amazing entrepreneur who founded a summit called Millennial 2020. We're gonna go and have a chat about Rebel Head being their official podcast partner. Let's go. East London, Shoreditch, going to see Cutting Edge Design Agency. They're looking after the design for Rebel Head. Let's go. I literally only started this business a few weeks ago, but what is my big startup lesson this week? So for me, it's all centered around priorities. When you're starting up, your to-do list is scary long. There is an endless amount of things that you could be tackling at any given day, and it's easy to feel unsatisfied with what you've achieved. So I decided a few days ago that the best way to go about this was to list two things the night before when I go to bed, two things for the next day that I must achieve, start and complete. So then I know that if they're the only two things that I get done in that day, I'll feel a sense of satisfaction and I'll know that I am moving forward. I also try and put the thing that I fear the most or the thing I want to do the least at very first. This is known as eat the frog, Get rid of that horrible task first and you know it's out of the way for the rest of the day. 
Got a really good book here called How to Be a Productivity Ninja by Graham Alcott. Couldn't recommend that enough. And also go check out the Asian Efficiency Podcast, which is absolutely amazing filled with tips and tricks for productivity. Because really, when you're starting a business, your time is your most valuable resource. And literally, you can work yourself to death if you're not careful. So it's all about productivity and making sure that you are getting the most out of every hour without burning yourself out. That's what I've learned this week.